criminal charges should be levied against all of them. And somehow, the government's favorite contractor somehow comes up in all of these things that are questionable dealings because Emer Hernandez's name also comes up. And it is alleged that he received, I think, about $200,000 um, contracts. I think it was four fifty thousand dollar contracts for landfill. And it seems that there's no accounting as to if any landfill or how much landfill was delivered by, by Emer Hernandez. So in everything that looked crooked and questionable, somehow this gentleman name um, comes up. It is time for the Prime Minister to act. You know, the Prime Minister has been, you know, like a, the, you know, you know, the circus master, always trying to spin and spin to, to move, but the reality is that he holds nobody accountable. It is not enough to fire Herman Longsword. We need a full audit as to what has taken place whilst Herman was the Consul General in New York. A lot of monies go through that office. Um, you know, for instance, um, they issue passports on behalf of the government of Belize. Um, they issue visas <clears throat> on behalf of the government of Belize. And the monies that they collect doing um, offering these services um, is in the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So we want to know how many passports were issued, how many visas were issued, how much was collected, and where is that money? And we're demanding that if the Prime Minister wants to come clean, he needs to do that, and he could get it done within two weeks. Do you understand that the council is <coughs> shutting down the council there? Well, <coughs> it was obvious that there, there was, this was just as what I said, a quid pro quo. You give up Albert for Tracy Tega, and we are sending you that you work for go on retirement and enjoy your last five years of the UDP government. So obviously there was absolutely no need to have a consul general office in New York City. You could see that the prime minister has always been self-serving. It was always about him and not about finding the truth and what has taken place under his leadership as the prime minister of this country.